Hey guys, today we're going to go over the top five failed speculations from MTG Line. So these are my top five speculations I made that quite, some of them didn't pan out like I expected them to. So number five, Mana Bloom. Now Mana Bloom, a lot of people say, oh, you know, this is my worst speculation. It's not that bad because I only had like 25 copies of it. By the time that I started buying them, people had already purchased and up the price or the stores had already started noticing and up the price. So I didn't buy any more. And and the card I purchased like really cheaply, uh, but after the cheap copies were no longer, I stopped buying it. So the idea was very simple. The idea was, hey, we're going into a block which enchantments supposedly was going to dominate for a very long time. That didn't happen. There was no really good enchantment effects for Mana Bloom to depend on, and that was the end of that. Number four, Tro. So I call him Laugh Out Loud Tro. This card reminded me a lot of Wild Mongol. Wild Mongo is one of my favorite cards of all time, uh, with Jackal Pup being probably one, Wild Mongo being in the top five. This card was, I was like, huh, this card is way better than Wild Mongo, and it has Scavenge to help it. So, like, Madness had, you know, Madness could help the Wild Mongo. Scavenge would, you know, supposedly help this, or Delve, or, I mean, there's so many different scenarios where. The card could have been good, it just never was, and it never really got above two bucks or four dollars. And that's kind of crazy to me, but honestly, maybe in the future some card breaks it, but not today. Now, Punishing Fire, this is a crazy one. So I own a lot of copies of Punishing Fire, probably over 200, 300 copies of this card. I've been sitting on this card for a very long time because I expected it to be unbanned. And the reason I expect it to be unbanned is because the archetype the deck that it's very good in and the decks that it's a get good against isn't that good. So we're not talking about a tier one deck here. We're talking about a, a deck that, you know, does two damage for essentially one life for your opponent and two and for, like it costs way too much for this to be that good. But it was banned in modern and it, I don't know when it's going to be unbanned if it ever is unbanned. But I do have very high hopes for the card because it is... It will see play, should it be unbanned. Just not in a tier one deck, I feel. Number two, Malera. So Malera let me down, but not as much as my number one. Malera obviously is one of my princess cards. So it's one of the cards that I have titled this, and most of these cards, Archangel of Rune, Philia, uh, Elspeth, uh, all these cards have like doubled what olivia vodarin i think multiplied by five all these cards have like spiked tremendously in price minus malera so even filer went from like below two dollars to over four dollars and that's not bad but malera has pretty much disappointed uh, malera had a deck named after her that no longer exists um poison being a strong you know maybe it's a cyborg card probably not because we're that deck has a lot of removal now my number one pick is Vraska. so Vraska i also labeled you know a princess card and out of all the print stoneforge mystic is another one that comes to mind that did extremely well um there's probably a few a dozen more of these cards that have gone up a lot in price but Vraska was not one of them Vraska seemed very good um it seemed incredibly good i was like wow this card's going to dominate it did not no it did not dominate it just fell in price there was a time that Vraska was by far the most expensive card in RTR. During the pre-release, it was actually, I believe, $40. And then the next <laughs> revelation was like $4, right? That is not the price that they held later on in time. It seemed like the card would be an EDH casual favorite because win the game, like cards that say win the game are very good in EDH especially when you can make multiples of them. And the cards that say destroy something is also very good and ed8 so i felt like this card would have been a casual staple and that would help hold its price but i mean the card is just not as strong as it appears on paper 